Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Thursday the 14th of May 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using The Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. In fact, all the decks today, apart from Ruby's deck, uh, the trusty steed deck, uh, are all Colette Baron Reed. Uh, okay, I have done an affirmation on the reverse of this. There is today's affirmation, so uh, I will be intrigued to see whether it matches up again with the uh, reading. Okay, well, let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for today. Uh, and today, Thursday the 14th, is the last day that um, Saturn, Venus and Jupiter are uh, retrograde, so um, they should start to station uh, before they go direct again. OK, here we go. Wow, OK. <laughs> They all hit the deck. One, two, three, four. Okay, four today. But we'll take that. So your cards are the king of water oh and doesn't he belong in there <laughs> that's his place for sure okay followed by major arcana zero fool major arcana number four emperor wow and finishing with the fantastic ten of water Oh yes, okay, your first card is the King of Water. Kings, they are um, powerful, um, accomplished, they are successful, um, they are about authority, um, justice and ethics, um, responsibility, as they are responsible for their kingdom. And the people within their kingdom. The king of water, he is a real empath, he's kind, caring, compassionate, he's generous, he's loving and giving. Uh, you can see the uh, quality of gentleness um, in this illustration as we see this uh, great king um, holding his hand out to this really tiny fish. Um, I'm feeling the energy of that today, my friends, from this illustration. I'm feeling the energy of uh, you. Um, I, I am feeling that you are reaching out, um, but you're doing it now with this, this new kind there's a kindness, a compassion, but it's gentleness I'm really picking up on. Um, you being more gentle. This could be gentle with yourself um, and it could be gentle with others. Um, actually, I am feeling it's both. It's a culmination of both. As you have been more kind and gentle with yourself, um, I'm really picking up that it is spilling over into um, your outer world, into your um, very reality. Um, so I'm really picking up on there's a, there's a real kind of calmness that is coming over you. This calmness is allowing you time to um, act with compassion, um, with kindness, with gentleness. It's, um, ooh, okay, it's your moral compass. I am hearing, my friends. Uh, your moral compass pointing in the right direction and pointing you in the right direction. I'm really drawn to the trident. Um, that this king of water is holding uh, three prongs 
Um, mind, body, spirit. Uh, this is another message, my friends, of congruency, of you being your genuine authentic selves and wow don't you look fabulous uh, gentleness i'm really picking up on that my friends your moral compasses pointing in the direction of uh, gentleness kindness and compassion for yourself and also for others uh, becoming real empaths wow 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 of course kings this is mastery. Um, of course, when we talk of mastery, it is um, mastery of water, water representing your um, emotions, your your feelings. Um, and I'm truly picking up on um, this um, empathic um, energy uh, that you are projecting my friends wow 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 um, again i'm really feeling that this is um all the messages lately they truly are about you your ascension how you are ascending um, i'm being guided to do this again um master um ascended master this is how um masters ascend um when they come um to um the plane of earth um they go through all of these life lessons um, and with these life lessons they are um, ascending. So um, if you want to know where Ascended Masters came from, my friends, yes, it is you. Uh, you, uh, mind, body, spirit, um, mastering um, today your emotions. Wow. Okay. Next we have Major Arcana, zero, fool. Major Arcana, speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. Oh, this is, uh, almost this is the um, Ace of Wands. Well, I think it's the Ace of Wands. I said if it would have been a Major Arcana, it would have been the fool. Uh, out comes the fool today. Um, and we do have a new moon coming up uh, around the 22nd, 23rd, depending where you are in the world. Um, and new moons, perfect opportunity for new starts, new beginnings. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking at the illustration, my friends, uh, and I'm seeing this um, person uh, blowing their horn. Um, I'm really feeling that this is you. Uh, you are signifying to the universe uh, the, you are ready for a new start you are ready for adventure you are ready to go and chase uh, your dreams your goals your your visions um, you are trusting yourselves you are trusting your inner knowing uh, you are trusting in your connection with the divine um, and, and you are really ready to Take that leap of faith like the stag. Uh, take a risk. Um, if uh, No, it's not risky. I'm going to take that back, friends. Um, no, you're just going to take a leap of faith. There's nothing risky at all about, about this, actually. I am hearing. <laughs> oh, OK, better get the message right. Uh, and of course, zero uh, does represent um, spirit. Um, so this is truly your connection with spirit, um, following the call, uh, spirit calling you, making these changes, uh, getting you to keep checking your moral compass, where you are on your journey, on your path. Are you ascending? Are you becoming an ascended master? <laughs> oh, OK. So you are trusting, you're trusting really more, my friends, in in um, in the inner guidance. I feel that you are receiving. Wow. Next we have Major Arcana, number four, Emperor. Four, the wonderful number of structure, security and stability, foundation in the physical. We're being given another lion. I'm really lions are just so prominent at the moment it's um for me it's um the symbol of courage uh bravery but again it's also the symbol of kindness caring and compassion you know the lion isn't always uh fierce 
um, or isn't always appearing to be fierce, the lion does have another side, a, a side where he is kind, caring and compassionate. So the message I'm feeling of the emperor is um, one of uh, masculine energy. This is power. Um, it's it's an energy, uh, again, where it's leadership I'm hearing, where you are being asked to step um, into the light, into the role of, of leader. Um, it's coming with this mastery, these, this leadership and mastery. It's you ascending, my friends. You are really going places. Um, <clears throat> and you, it, I'm really hearing strongly, it's you now. You are the ones that you are consciously... Um, aware and consciously uh, making things happen for you and so also the emperor his fatherhood um, his uh, order um, authority because he's his own authority he doesn't need anyone to tell him what to do or how to do it uh, he innately follows his inner knowing and he has the courage to do so because he knows with his connection to the divine it's not a risk but it is a leap, but it's a leap of faith. And if your faith is strong and you have strong um, connections with the divine and your uh, all of your belief structures are strong, um, <clears throat> then there is no reason why you cannot achieve. The emperor is about achieving. He's also about mastery. So there's another um, message of mastery um, and accomplishment. Um, I'm hearing strongly again. Um He's carrying a sword, uh, and a, like the uh, King of Swords, I, I do feel that this Emperor, um, he, he wouldn't hesitate to defend, but this sword, it's more about how he thinks and how he communicates, and this is where this mastery is, this is self-mastery. It's you, friends. You have really changed the way you have been thinking, and communicating you are more aware you are self-aware and you are more conscious now um, of your thoughts and and how you are speaking out into the world wow 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 you are building um a reality um and it's it, it's a solid foundation i am seeing here my friend it's not risky it's not risky. Um, a bit of a misinterpretation came through, but uh, spirit corrected me straight away. Uh, it's a solid foundation that you are building, my friends. Secure, strong, stable. Um, so this this new start, this new adventure, this new beginning that you are uh, being called and guided towards, uh, it's coming and you are ready because you are accomplished accomplished in mastery and it is mastery of the self wow 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 and next we have the 10 of water 10 reaching that culmination the ultimate the peak this is your dreams coming true my wonderful friends 10 the number of endings and beginnings um, and I truly feel as I look at this illustration of Buddha and he has his string here of pearls they are pearls of wisdom. This is showing how wise you have become um, over these uh, over this time where you have been putting in your spiritual practice, your daily practice, I'm really drawn to these two roses. It's everything in your garden is coming up rosy. Um, and I look at the colour of these roses and they are pink, my friends. Uh, so pink, it does also, along with green, represent your um, heart chakra. Uh, pink, it's the colour of universal unconditional love it's the color of romance of of charm of um it's tenderness it's sweetness it's ooh, flowers and it's babies <laughs> maybe for some of you this new beginning is it could be um the birth of a new of, of a new baby or the new, news of um an impending birth um but i'm truly feeling 
uh, wishes coming true um, and it's coming my friends because you are taking these great leaps of faith because you know when you take that leap that spirit comes with you um, it can be no other way so this is really shoring you up shoring your faith up your connection with spirit you are mastering your emotions you are mastering how you think and communicate out into the world you know that it is your journey and your journey alone and you are ready to take it ready to follow this path my friends because you know now because you have all of this wisdom that it is taking you to a place where you can fulfil all of your wishes and all of your dreams. Wow, wow, wow. Um, actually, I really want to do this now, my friends, and just rub the Buddha's belly. I and mean, look how he's smiling, laughing at you. Um, even both of this water energy, both of them, uh, a real happiness that is coming from deep within because you have made the change deep within this king of water is deep in the ocean um, and the Buddha he is sat on the side of the ocean so uh, there is a rising my friends this rising coming from again from from the deep <laughs> but wow 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 look at how you finish up at the end my friends Okay, I dropped the king then, sorry about that. Okay, I'll just lower that camera slightly. Okay, next we will have <clears throat> Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? Thursday the 14th of May 2020 okay two cards but that's okay and your first card is number one Yang. Yang is a masculine energy. This is re representing uh, the real energy of um, masculinity. It's power um, and it's action, I am hearing. A uh, call to action, my friends. Ooh. Okay, let's just look in the book. And of course, one um, coming after, um, you know, the zero, the full, the new start. So you're receiving uh, real ideas, real impulses coming from deep within you. Um, and you are really being guided and called to action, I am hearing. The masculine principle of movement and creative activity. The power to make things happen and taking action. Ooh, sorry friends, let's lower that for you. There you go. <clears throat> Yang represents the power of action. The energies that propel the world forward. And manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome and there is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Uh, so this yang together with this emperor energy uh, and even with the king energy, the king uh, also representing uh, masculine energy, um, really being called to action. This is the time, my friends. This is the time for action. <sighs> it's definitely taking you somewhere. OK, so next we have number seven, to the sea oh, so much uh, water energy here on the table my friends even with the background okay <clears throat> to the sea being in flow returning to source 
and recognising how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. So that's like yesterday's reading, isn't it, where I, I did the title of, you know, Opportunity Knocks and you know it. I'm really picking up on this again strongly, my friends. You recognising how all of these pieces of this puzzle are all fitting together. Uh, aware. You are really self-aware. Isn't it wonderful? When you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless. This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river in the sea of life. Oh yes friend, what, dip your bread. This is the time. The time is now. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Wisdom of Avalon. Also, Colette Baron Reed. <clears throat> okay, we get the Bard. Uh, another number seven of course seven is the number of uh, magic and spirituality so and it's definitely at, at work you you see the mystery you are aware of the magic and the mystery and um, I really feel that you are consciously uh, creating that you are um, Oh, really consciously aware of your connection with the divine and you are seeing these opportunities you are seeing uh, all the pieces of the puzzle now wow the bard music poetry myth history and the enchantment of storytelling okay well, interesting he's come under the emperor this card represents music storytelling and the passing of truths, myths and legends from generation to generation through the spoken word or song. In ancient Avalon, traditions and stories of the people were gathered on leaves that served as letters in a living alphabet that were tended in vast long houses. Here the druids and the priestesses came to read and weave the stories of magic and the sacred relationship to the god, goddess and the mystery. Those schooled, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> those schooled in the art of music and storytelling were given the task of informing their world and keeping the stories of their culture alive. They were given the name of Bard. When the Bard appears, you'll ask to seek answers in your personal history. Go back into your own story and find the threads of the patterns in your reality and trace their length to the present. Perhaps you'll be surprised by how much of your past or that of your ancestors still weaves its influence on you today. When the bard appears, he asks you to retrieve the stories woven in the past Perhaps you need to learn about the history of someone or something important to your inquiry. The seeds of the future are always hidden in the soil of the past. It's time to dig a little, to find the clarity you need. Don't be afraid to learn the patterns of history. The only way to honour them or change them is to know them. Perhaps it's time to listen to music and allow yourself to be carried into the land of memory and listen for its messages as the strings of your soul are strummed by the hand of the divine. Remember that the bard appears to help you stay in tune with the all that is. You are music and your story is sung in the heavens. <laughs> wow, 
What a beautiful, beautiful message, my friends. <laughs> Unfolding before our very eyes. Uh, trust in the mystery. Trust in the magic. Know that you are <clears throat> telling your own story and uh, uh, make it a beautiful one. I am hearing. <clears throat> and I'm just hearing, um, and I cannot remember who did the song, but... Um, uh, to know, know, know him is to love, love, love him. <laughs> and I don't know why that's going through my head, <laughs> but it may be there for maybe someone who uh, it may have meaning for. So I'd apologise for the singing. OK, Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom <clears throat> I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And I must have a sip of water. Yes, I can't think who sung that, but I think it was a song from the 60s. <clears throat> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ruby. So we didn't even get to say, have you got a message for us? Ruby the kind red spirit. She already knew what card she wanted to give us. Okay, so your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... Oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, and it definitely is a message of expansion, uh, ascension. Uh, you, you are climbing and flying higher and higher day by day moment to moment and it's absolutely wonderful uh, ruby is asking me to do this and she said look how my beautiful pink wings match your beautiful pink roses and together coming from a place of unconditional love, universal love, where everything that we do, think and feel has the basis of unconditional love, then we are absolutely soaring and flying high. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Ruby. She says, spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light and show the world what you are made of. This is the time, friends. This is the time for action. This is the time to show the world what you are made of. Shining your light out there. Wow. Ruby says you are brilliant, talented, and it is now time to soar into your success. Your soul is calling you to share the message and make a difference. Have the courage to do the things you are scared of. Stretch out of your comfort zone and into your potential. Although you may feel some discomfort at first, you will soon feel like Pegasus, flying out of the clouds and into brighter skies. Do not allow anyone or anything to clip your wings, keep you grounded or make you feel less than you really are. Others may feel uncomfortable as you expand. They are just anxious that you will leave them behind. Instead of shrinking yourself into their, uh, to appease their fears, stay true to your path and continue soaring higher and shining brighter. And by doing this, you will show them how to do the same. It is up to them to have the courage <laughs> to follow. You came here for greatness and it's now time to show the world your magic. Uh, Ruby's asking me to do this also. You are coming from down in the deep <laughs> to high, flying high in the sky. Wow, wow, wow. OK. And the affirmation I wrote was, Today I set my intention so that I can achieve all my goals, dreams and visions because now I truly believe. <laughs> I think it matches my friends and it. I think it goes with the message for sure. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> You're on your way, friends, to having everything you ever dreamed, desired or wished for. <clears throat> Happiness. 
happiness, uh, abundance, prosperity all on its way to you because you are trusting in the mystery and the magic. Your faith and your connection is strong. Well, thank you for all of your likes, shares, welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful kindred spirits, may favour be with you all as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.